Uh, yes, Voltron season three dropped. Uh, I want to say a week ago, almost a week ago. And uh, as the third season, we had the pleasure of watching the first two seasons. We absolutely loved it. It's the Netflix original. Um, can you call it an anime or is it just a cartoon? Uh, I think it is just a cartoon. Is just it, a cartoon. There's no manga. Did that's very moves, soft. Did the mouse move like this? You, oh, no, like still say anime. anime. Okay, it's then that's the not anime it. style. Yeah, it is anime. Uh, style. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, so heavily influenced with anime uh, elements, but. The third season dropped. Um, unlike previous seasons, this season was only seven episodes, and uh, we learned that season four would be dropping in um, October, and it's, uh, uh, what, another six episodes? I think it's six or seven. I think essentially what they did was they took this last season and they split it into two, and their argument for doing that was you get... Um, more sooner. More, more sooner, right? So you, you're getting less at once, but you're still... You get another few episodes in a few months, and then I think season five will come out maybe January, February, uh, because this will be the third. Like the season in October will be the third season that's come out in this year. This year, yeah. So the whole thing launched just last year. Just yeah, last I year. I can't believe the last summer. Yeah. yeah. And so it's. I mean, they're they're really producing this stuff pretty quickly, mm. and um, I, this was my favorite season. Yeah, I we mean, just this is, jump right this in. This is it definitely my favorite season. Incredible. I yeah. love so. The big, the big reveal this season, I think, is we learn the origins of Voltron. Yes. We also that last episode, I think you were saying it best, was probably the best episode ever, where we actually saw the paladins of the first. Oh paladins. my goodness, what's the princess's name? Uh, uh, Allura. Allura, Princess Allura's father, and um, Zarkon, yeah. and uh, some other people. The that, other three. <laughs> the, other the other three. three. The yeah. other three people. Uh, but you get to see like. Their whole so they were a team before there was Voltron. Yes. yes, there was this idea of we will come together and protect the universe, and then we got this awesome weapon. But we only got this weapon because of a really bad thing, which was a rift in space time continuum that was opening up to another universe, which then turns Archon evil, which then also turned the um, what are they called? Lady. Yeah, what's that race called? The, uh, oh, shoot, um, oh, not the Zinti. Like, uh, that's Star Trek. That's Star yeah. Trek, bro. I know. I know. I just wanted to throw a curveball in there. Proud of you. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. I thought you'd be happy with that. Uh, the the uh, Altans. The Altans. So the Altans, uh, oh, the scientist, it turned her super dark and evil, yeah. turned Zarkon. We also learned that she, who is the witch in the present time, is also married to um, Zarkon. Which should make the villain of this season, Lotor, their, their son. son. Unless, it is Zarkon, Zarkon, right. unless Zarkon got around. Maybe he did? No, I get the impression, because he's a half-breed. He's not full... Uh, he's not full... Gol, Golra. Golra. There we go. Yeah, he definitely... They didn't smaller. say, though, that... I guess they, they leave you with that thought at the end of that episode, right? The yeah, fact of that course. They're, they're, and he they're works weird. only with half Golra, half something else. Like, his four... His four well, I don't even know if they're people. all half Golra. No, because there's a line um, when he first appears, when he's in the arena. Yeah. And um, they're like, oh, I heard he only works with half Golra, like half breeds. Or Golra oh, interesting. Breeds. So there's that line in there. It's, it's real quick. But so um, so when we saw, when I saw those four uh, ladies, um, they are half Golra and then I assumed half something else. Interesting. Yeah. Which, which would explain the height. I'm, I'm like, half, you get the height from the Golra I'm half side. Golra myself. That would explain the, the ears. I did think it was interesting he had his own team and like they're combined, they're five and Team Voltron is five with mm. Paladins and then... And they also have a ship now. They also have a ship and they have the uh, rock. The, back, well, the, the ship was made from the asteroid. Yeah, so it's interesting to see perhaps we get a Voltron versus a Dark Voltron maybe in the upcoming season or two. I think that's what they're going to... So if I understood the end of the season correctly, Lotor is going to be looking for more of these rifts and then for looking for more of the um, those comets or right. asteroids. Because and therefore creating more ships for right. each of the people. We already saw who the pilot is for that first one. Um, and so they are, each of them are going to get their own ships. And then I think it's going to be a Voltron versus Voltron type. Just did a quick search. There is a Dark Voltron. Oh, so that's where oh, we're yeah. going. That's so where we're going towards. You ruined it. There yeah, is I wanted it to be it. Dark Surprise. Voltron. It's ruined. So, I'm just kidding. So, Basically, it's dark colors, but with Voltron. Yeah. So, uh, when does the next season come out? October. So, um, we ha wait, it comes out in October? Yes. yes. The next so, we have out. until October because, okay, this came out when I was traveling for work last summer, and yes. you guys watched everything that came out without me. Yes. And uh, then I believe you watched all of this one. I don't know how you did that. Was it's I? It's only seven episodes. Seven, so I think Bobby did in 
two days? We, we did it in two days. We did it in two days. days. Two days. Yeah, whatever. Okay. They watched everything without me. Yeah, um, <laughs> everything, all of it, without me. And now I'm going to make at least Robbie watch it with me. Uh, Greg, I, I, I'd rewatch it again. The, the whole first thing. I would rewatch it all too. Of it. Yeah, I would watch all it of it in one long go. Whole, oh, right, actually, like so that we've got time to go like up until they release it. Because I haven't gotten to see it. Yeah. So. Oh, at all. Yes, from at all, one. from anything. Oh, you'll enjoy it. You'll really enjoy it. I'm sure that it. I will. Yeah. It's just that, you know, I had to sit here and be quiet because some people watched everything without me. Yeah, Arjuna. Yeah, Arjuna. Show must go, uh, well, sorry, you can actually watch the loser review of Voltron season one. <laughs> yes, on but then, uh, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, but why do you watch the show when you can watch the loser review yeah, filled seriously. with spoilers? Yeah, we have B-roll and everything. God. Ah, exactly. We're That's advanced. all I need. Just don't even need the show. <laughs> all I need is um, Arjuna and his spoilers. Exactly. Hmm. Um, I will say, uh, oh, yeah, I will say, I liked what they did. Uh, uh, Lotor was an interesting character to me because Zarkon was all much, very much about the Golra Empire and protecting his people, and by protecting, you know, taking over everyone else. Lotor is uh, clearly not interested in the Golra Empire or anything of that nature. In fact, he atta- he attacks his own Golra people a few times <laughs> because his his far-reaching Goals. goal is this dark Voltron or, you know, the the multiverse, alternate universe type of stuff. Well, I think he, yeah, I think he's looking beyond it. I mean, his yeah. father, uh, Zarkon, even said it in the beginning, you know, he kind of touched upon the idea of, oh, there's this other universes, there's this other universe, and we can use that to help us, and, you know, maybe there's other stuff that could help, and etc. But I never thought, I don't think Zarkon ever got the idea of, yeah, let's take over the multiverse. Well, I think you're right. right. The sun is more like, why He's take more, over one universe yeah, when you could get them all? Exactly. exactly. Or you could be like a Night Owl in the uh, Batman, not Batman, the Justice League movie, Crisis on Two Earths. He wanted to destroy all of reality. Oh. So what does everyone think is going on with Shiro? And I mean, a big part of this season was... Well, hold on. So a big part of this season was, uh, you know, um, Keith taking over for the Black. Black Lion and, you know, some reshuffling on the team. And they they definitely spent the first, what was it, four episodes really highlighting this new team dynamic. And then all of a sudden we get that, like, Shiro-centric episode and I think, episode five. Mm-hmm. And he's back all of a sudden, but he, he doesn't respond to any of the Lions. And I think the popular theory, like Ravi said... Is he a clone? Is he not? Has he changed somehow? Has he been a clone the whole time? Who is he like a Golra double agent? It has to be. Well, yeah. so this is why I think the Shiro, the Shiro, Shiro, Shiro that we have right now is a clone because remember they they had him before the whole Voltron came into present day or right. whatever. I think what we're seeing right now, this thing is a clone. I don't think he's dead dead because remember at the end of season two, there's no body. He's just disappeared. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a there's a multiverse type scenario, something where the real Shiro is still hanging out or stuck or something of that nature. And it's almost like a throwaway. It's almost like a throwaway, or maybe it's dressed up to be like a throwaway sort of uh, situation where we see the the other universe Shiro who has an accent <laughs> with that Indian um, caterpillar thing. Who's who's all about the multiverse. Two, right? Yeah, he's all about the multiverse. It's almost like a throwaway thing, but I think. The idea, the the fact that those two are together, and the fact that we see a multiverse Shiro lends uh, lends credence to that theory, where it, perhaps it is a multiverse setup with Shiro. Is it clones? Is it have they gathered a bunch of this guy and and are storing him or something? Um, so, so yeah, I think I think we're we're in store for a lot more. Arjuna, I think you mentioned um, seventy six episodes. Total slated yes. for it. So they, uh, when the initial order was like seventy six total episodes. Mm-hmm. Where for, are we at now? I, so I think it was like thirteen in for the first one. first season, twelve maybe for season two, so and now now we've done seven, so it's thirty two. So we're not even halfway. We're not even halfway yet. Wow. So and yeah. it's already developed a lot. We've already ch- the the team's already completely changed, which is great. I think that whole dynamic. This I think that's what I loved about this season so much is that not only did we learn about um, the first paladins, but like the ro- the current roster changed dramatically, and it's very much an internal character uh, trait or series of traits that determines who gets what lion, which is very cool. Right. You know, they like definitely now Allure is the blue lion, uh, Keith is the black lion, Lance is the red lion, 
uh, and all of those encapsulate like certain traits and you know it shows like character development over time in a very physical way which is sweet yeah so Voltron great show I mean If you enjoyed what you just saw, take a look at these other videos from this week's LuzoCast. You can find the full podcast on Facebook and iTunes. For more nerdy goodness, subscribe to Luzo on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to check out the website, luzoproductions.com.